Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for being here. This is number three in the series. I love the first two, the colors are spot on. Um, but as I had said in the other video, I had already done these one time. And with the edits, this was the most difficult one to do. We were trying to capture a beautiful like sunrise, sunset in pinks, <laughs> but to go with the other green and the blue. And we talked about this on multiple occasions and Kat, uh, you were so sweet through the process, but I really just had to work through it. And what I did, I actually made a bunch of 10 by 10 paintings with all the different color combinations. And what we found is that the blue and the, um, the bluish gray that I was gonna use, it was really darkening up the painting a little bit. I was trying to get kind of, you know, that, that piece of sky that's there right as the sun is setting. Um, but it really was creating one, the purples that she didn't really want. And two, it was, it was just creating a color in the painting that we didn't really care for. So we took those colors out and I'm going to go with some true fiery sun colors tonight. So I have a yellow gold, I have a regular gold. I have a uh, rose matter and magenta mix. I made this pink from a ton of different colors. I can't even tell you. <laughs> she didn't want baby pink, like a super light pink. Um, one of the pinks I made was a, a little too red in tone. So I made, I took magenta, I took, she wanted more of like a hot pink color. So magenta, white, um, I took a little bit of like a rose uh, quinacridone. I took a bunch of different colors and made this color and a tiny bit of red in there as well. So I'm hoping that this pink reads on canvas once it dries. And then I have a little bit of super bright pyrrole red and a little bit of orange. Um, and I'm gonna try to not use so much orange because I think the yellow and the red will mix together to give a little bit of that orange too. So I'm excited and this series has been a lot of fun. It has definitely been challenging. Commissions always are challenging, um, but I did have a lot of fun doing it and, oh, I can't wait for her to see them. I'm always so stressed out until they get it in their home and they look at it and they're like, say that they like it. So wish me luck on this last one. Let's paint. All right, so I have already painted my sides. I paint them with a um, an opaque or semi-opaque color. I am thinking about which color I want to start with. Um, I want to make sure that I have the red and I think on this one I'm going to try to I normally stay close to the center and blow it out but I think I'm going to try to spread a little bit further on this one. So here we go starting. Okay used up all of my red that was left I love it when I use up all the colors. It's so different talking to you because I wanted my other cameras to get the side angles to fit the entire canvas in, and it's so weird. I, I'm so used to looking over to the side to talk to you. Okay, Kat, hope you like it. Okay, that's plenty of orange. Oh, I have just a little bit left. I'm gonna put it in a small container. Um, if I need to fill up some space in here, I will. Next, I'm gonna come in with the magenta and I want a pretty good amount of the magenta. The rose matter, I should say. We decided as well not to use, okay, I'll save a little bit in case I want it for the top. Um, we decided not to use white. I actually made one with white and it just lightened it up and I want this one to be really kind of contrasting and vibrant. Okay, now for this pink. The 
Pink's gonna go in most areas here. There we go. Lots of pink. The pink that I painted the sides with was a, um, I think it's a red purple. Uh, and when I when it dried, I was like, oh, I should have just mixed this color because it's really pretty. <laughs> okay. I feel like I, that's a good amount of paint there and it's gonna blow out each side. I think now all that's left is the gold and the yellow. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more sparing with the yellow through here. I want it to just kind of be in pops. I'm hoping that the red comes through a little bit more because I feel like I've lost that and now I don't have any more of it. Okay. I hope this comes out, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna try to pour slowly on the gold. Oh, I got one little. Okay, not too much there. All right, y'all, I think that's it. I'm gonna give this a torch and then I'm gonna blow it out. We are going to cross our fingers. Um, if you watch the other two videos, so this technique is going to be where I blow it off kind of feathered to either side and toward the ends. I normally start in the middle to do that. And then after I come back in, I call them turbulence because they almost remind me of like waves crashing, blow back in in different directions. So that piece takes me a little bit of time because you wanna take your time, look at it, think about it, and really get a feel for like the motion of the painting, so. All right. Ooh, had some air bubbles in one of those colors. Okay, let's go.
I really like it. That you could see how little yellow I poured on top, but because that color was on top, it immediately kind of spread out over the top. So that's why I like coming back in and bringing those bottom colors, pushing them back in so that you can really create your, your own kind of palette and your own composition out of this. I really like it. I feel like it has a good flow to it. It's a little more blended at the bottom. That's what I'm, I think I'm gonna call the bottom. So I like that. I might blow just this one little piece right here. I'll have to see. But otherwise, I'm really happy. I'm gonna touch up my sides. All I do is take my finger, run it along the bottom, get a little bit of paint, and then just gently touch down the sides. So I'm gonna do that, give it another torch, and then I'll show you. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna take you in, because the devil's in the details. Look at that pink. That is such a pretty color pink. She wanted lots of cells, so this definitely has them popping up. The yellow, I feel like, guides your eye through the painting. I can't get over that pink. It's really pretty. That was the most difficult color to try to make. But lots of interesting designs. And I just love how these have so much motion to them. But I will show you how it dries, and I will show you the other two so you can see them all side by side. All right, well, this was the one that took me the most planning, the most time, the most tries, and I must say I'm really, really happy with it. The colors, the pink came through. It's giving fiery sunset. There's so many little details. The red kind of pops of color are really nice in there. My camera's just not picking it up very well, maybe when I put the three of them side by side. Now, when I show you the next one, there, you get a better, yeah, that's better. Oh, this one is so pretty in person. Now, when I put them side by side, you'll be able to see the difference in like the vibrancy immediately. So let me show you the other one that I did and then you can see the edits. All right, so here they are side by side. Let me walk around my table. You can see this one is much more muted. I left the blues out of that one this time around. I used more pink, less red, and I left out the blue, the um, bluish gray that I had used before because I was trying to simulate clouds in this one like the sunset that you, the colors of the sunset that you see, but I like this one a lot better. So it's very interesting, just a couple of color changes. I also left out that super bright orange, I mean, uh, yellow, and I added in the softer yellow gold. So I think that really helped too, but this one is pretty, don't get me wrong. It just didn't fit in with the others and we couldn't quite figure out what it was and it was just how muted it was with the addition of those blues. But there you have it. There's the other one. And now let me show you the three of them together. Woo, I'm falling over everything. <laughs> All right, let me show you the three of them together. All right, so here they are, and I think the motion of them, the contrast of each of them, I think that it is really, really nice. I am very happy with it. They're super vibrant. 
They're each of her concepts. Kat, I hope that you absolutely love these when you get them. But I'm really happy with it. And whew, this was this was a doozy. Every now and again, you get a set and it just, it's a lot more work than it normally would be. And I think for this one, because it meant so much to her, I wanted to, I wanted to do it, you know, right. There's a little bit of a shadow on these, but that's not, it's not actually there. It's coming from this thing. But, you know, it's just, I stuck with it. I could have said, God, I'm going to fall over, y'all. I could have said, you know, I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. Um, but I, I really just wanted to push myself and try and make these for her and give her what she wanted. So I'm really happy with it. She has seen them and she is happy with it as well. So I'm really happy about all the edits that we made. And thank you so much for watching this series. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe learned a little something along the way. I definitely know I did. All right, thank you everyone for watching. Happy painting. Bye.